एम एस रामया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस डिस्कस ऑरिफाइज प्लेट ऑरिफिस प्लेट नॉट टू बी कंफ्यूज विद फ्लो मेजरिंग ऑरिफिस मीटर इज यूज इन ओपन फ्लो वाइल ऑरिफाइज मीटर इज यूज इन क्लोज फ्लो सच एज पाइप फ्लो द ऑरिफाइज प्लेट इज सिमिलर टू ऑरिफाइज मीटर इन दैट इट हैज एन ऑरिफाइज एट द सेंटर ऑफ द प्लेट वाइल द ऑरिफाइज मीटर इज कनेक्टेड टू अ पाइप विद इनलेट एंड आउटलेट पाइप therefore the pressure at the outlet side may not be essentially atmospheric but orifice plate is mounted on one of the side walls to have an open flow from inside to outside the outlet flow from the orifice plate is always atmospheric pressure we are going to study the orifice plate definition vena contracta identification and definitions of coefficient of velocity contraction and discharge orifice meter with pipes connected to both inlet and outlet an orifice plate with outlet open to atmospheric pressure vena contracta is a observable reduction in flow cross section that can be seen just downstream of the orifice outlet this is because as the fluid whether liquid or gas passes through the orifice its pressure builds up slightly upstream of the orifice but as the fluid is forced to converge to pass through the hole the velocity increases and the fluid pressure decreases a little downstream of the orifice the flow reaches its point of maximum convergence the vena contracta where the velocity reaches its maximum and the pressure reaches its minimum beyond that the flow expands the velocity falls and the pressure increases as the actual values of discharge and velocities are less than theoretical we determine the coefficient of discharge and velocities as cd q actual divided by q theoretical cv is equal to v actual by v theoretical where cd is a coefficient of discharge and cv is a coefficient of velocity also the flow area of the vena contracta will be less than the size of the orifice the ratio of the area of the vena contracta to that of the orifice is called the coefficient of contraction cc is equal to area of the vena contracta divided by area of the orifice experimentally it is difficult to locate the position of vena contracta therefore the coefficient of contraction can be calculated using the following expression cc is equal to cd by cv hello everyone today let us conduct an experiment on an orifice plate at our fluid mechanics laboratory we have a setup to calculate the coefficient of discharge of an orifice plate the setup consists of a storage tank where the water is stored and pumped throughout the circuit from the storage tank it is connected to a centrifugal pump used to pump the water through the pipes from the downstream of the centrifugal pump we have two valves one valve is a recirculation valve or the bypass valve and the second valve is used to control the flow to the overhead tank from the valve that goes to the overhead tank the pipe goes on top of the overhead tank and then puts the water here we have a piezometer which gives the head 
in the overhead tank. At the bottom of the overhead tank, an orifice has been attached through which the water starts coming out. Further, at the downstream, we have an attachment which can measure the distance travelled by the water from the orifice. The horizontal scale shall give the value of the water in the x direction and the vertical scale shall give the value of the distance travelled by the water in the y direction. As the water moves through the channel, it comes down to the collecting tank. Here we can measure the actual discharge of the water. Further down, it goes back into the storage tank and that shall complete the circuit. Three different orifice plates can be attached to the setup. We have an orifice plate with 6 mm diameter, an 8 mm diameter and 10 mm diameter. We shall take the 6 mm orifice plate and attach it at the bottom of the overhead tank. There are 4 slots for which the orifice has to align with four different screws. After aligning it, we shall tighten the orifice plate using the wing nuts. After attaching the orifice plate, next we shall open the recirculation valve completely before starting the pump. And throughout the experiment, we need to maintain a constant head in the overhead tank. For example, here let us maintain a head of 50 centimeters. Now, let us switch on the main supply. After switching on the main supply, underneath the overhead tank, we have a drain valve which is used to drain the water inside the tank. This needs to be closed. And the valve that is connected to the overhead tank is to be completely open. Remember, the recirculation valve is completely open The valve connecting the overhead tank is completely open And the drain valve beneath the overhead tank is completely closed Now, let us switch on the pump The water starts to fill in in the overhead tank slowly. Remember that our recirculation valve is completely open which means the water is being allowed to flow back into the storage tank. Once we start closing the recirculation valve, the water starts to fill in in the overhead tank. We need to maintain a head of 50 centimeters. So as it is approaching 50, we shall start opening the recirculation valve such that a constant head of 50 centimeters is maintained in the overhead tank.
we need to ensure that the head in the overhead tank is maintaining 50 centimeters. Next, we need to measure the initial reading of the x and the y direction of the water flowing through the orifice. The initial reading will be at the vena contracta which is at around 3 millimeters from the orifice. In the y direction it has to be adjusted such that the tip is just touching the surface of the water. After making the tip touching the surface of the water, tighten the screw on the y direction axis scale and note down the reading. Further, we shall take the first reading after taking the reading from the vena contractor. By moving the x direction in the scale, for that hold the scale of the y direction and then loosen the screw on the x direction scale and move it at about 10 centimeters. Then lock the x direction scale. Now we need to hold the y direction scale and then slowly unlock the screw on that to allow the tip to come down and then touch the surface of the water. After making the tip touch the water, lock the y direction scale and note down the corresponding reading. After taking the first reading at 10 centimeters on the x scale, we shall move it to 20 centimeters to take the second reading. So, we shall unlock the screw on the x scale and move it until it reaches 20 centimeters and lock the nut again. The corresponding Y scale has to be brought down in order that the tip is touching the surface of the water. So hold the scale again and unlock the screw and then slowly lower the Y scale until the tip touches the surface of the water. Now similarly, we shall take further readings at 30 centimeters in the x direction and 40 centimeters in the x direction. The corresponding y direction readings are also taken. Remember, the first reading was the initial reading which was taken at the vena contractor and Further, we have taken readings at 10, 20, 30 and 40 centimeters. To measure the actual discharge, we need to close the butterfly valve on the collecting tank such that the water starts getting collected in the collecting tank. We need to note down the time required for the water to raise in the collecting tank for a certain height. After taking the time for the rise of water in the collecting tank, we shall stop the pump and the same experiment can be repeated for 8 mm and 10 mm orifice plates. But remember that throughout the experiment 
a constant head of 50 centimeters has to be maintained in the overhead tank. After taking all the readings, we can calculate the coefficient of discharge, coefficient of velocity and the coefficient of contraction for the corresponding orifice plate and that will conclude the experiment. At MSR UAS, we spark your imagination unlike any other.